said, we're very excited about the news here today, this morning, and we worked hard to make this day happen. In fact, Lori and Mayor Abedijan, Kevin Dillon, Dr. Hitner, and myself, Jim Bennett, got in the van and drove down to Queens, New York, to knock on the door of the CEO, Dave Barger, and tell him about our enthusiasm for Rhode Island and what a good fit TF Green would be for his airline, JetBlue. And he listened to us, and he investigated what we had to say, and now we're here today. Start booking those flights. Let's fill those planes. Let's get people out there on JetBlue. Blue team. Can you help me just give a round of applause to our representing our 14,000 crew members? Thanks so much for what you do. Day in and day out. And this is, it's interesting because this really is a, a long awaited day that we're celebrating. And you talk about uh, uh, patience, I would use the word perseverance. This is our 75th Blue City destination. And so this is a, uh, this is a diamond. Uh, when I think about the diamond an uh, anniversary and the diamond announcement here in, in terms of serving uh, Providence, and effective November the 29th, uh, we will commence service. In interesting to note, don't know what the temperature is, uh, but it's quite hot. As we talk about Florida, uh, we'll be servicing Orlando two times a day uh, from TF Green, as well as Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport one time per day. So we'll launch service with three flights a day, effective November 29th. Flying us, working with us, investing in us. And I think about this partnership as well that we're announcing today not just the non-stops to Orlando and Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, but connecting into the Caribbean, Latin America, and across our route system. We're very, very, very excited about the future.